this is my current workflow for processing time-lapse pictures in Caden Live. First thing I like to do is uh, go ahead and save as and uh, go into the folder that I'm working inside of. And uh, I'm currently working on this uh, basically a tent and backyard thing with the kids and uh, took a whole bunch of pictures using uh, GoPro Hero 2 and I'm just going to call it exactly that. So I've got it saved and uh, now I'm going to uh, actually add the directory where all the pictures live and I'm going to start with that one. I've also got day two that I separated it out and uh, for me uh, my current settings that I kind of like are thousand six thousandths of a second there and then uh, center crop then okay the left click there drag down the timeline then I kind of drop it in place like that and then I kind of click down here and uh, scrub through the video that's the first slideshow and uh, and I want to go ahead and import the second. And I'll center crop also. And I'll go to day two. And I'll change this to that. Um, and then as far as editing goes, um, a couple things I like to do is uh, you know, go ahead and create a folder in here and one thing that I'll do is I'll pause on individual things that I'm interested in, like these awesome steaks that we cooked. Uh, and I'll save, I'll right mouse click on them there, and I'll extract frame to project. And uh, then I'll put it in the folder where it resides. So I'll go ahead and save that out. And it dropped into here. Now it's directly into the project. So what I can actually do is drag this down so I'll drag that picture down and uh, throw it at the front of the timeline I'm just left clicking and dragging around right now I'm in select mode the selection tool um, one preference that I really that I changed was uh, under here and then I changed the image clips to one second so Whenever I extract the frame out over here, it defaults the clip size to one second for me. Uh, another thing that I modified was the transition to a tenth of a second. So whenever that drops out, or whenever it captures that frame, it uh, puts it a one second. So I'm able to drop that right on the front. Then we can kind of play through the video down here. So I've clicked down here and hit the space bar. Now it'll play through the video. So all of this stuff, uh, I don't really care about these pictures in between here. We'll just jump right into the tent section. End up sticking the camera up on the back window. And uh, it's just a GoPro suction cup mount. So I'm just hitting the left or the right arrow to scrub shoot through the video. And I'm holding down select to go a second at a time. So I'm just kind of scrubbing through the video, looking for something interesting. So I click down here, select it in that area, and then I'm going to hold down Shift R, and that's going to cut at where the marker's at right now. I'm just going to delete all this stuff in the beginning. 
I'm just going to break in right there. I'm going to hit the home key. That's going to take me back to the beginning. So, and I'm just hitting the space bar to play in pause. And if I'm interested in what the what's in the video, I saw something moving around. Looks like my little boy was playing outside a little bit. So, and then it's me taking the camera down, and I don't really care to have any of that. So I'm hitting the right and left arrows to go one frame at a time through. And I'm going to hit the shift R to cut there. And I'm going to cut out the sections that I don't care about. Caden there. So I will cut that section and left click and then hit the delete key to delete that out. Actually like that. So I'm going to extract that frame by right clicking over here and extract frame to project and hit enter and it dropped over here. And I'm just left clicking and dragging down not enough room in the workspace or in the timeline so make a little room, drag that down, drop it in place and uh, I don't really care that I was standing in the middle of the, the frame for one of those it's only a very short time frame that's Kate and I inside of the tent He was facing out. Is that farther back? So, I thought he was facing out, but he's not. Go ahead and extract that frame, save it out. And I'm just right mouse clicking uh, up here extract frame to project and then hitting enter and then since I have this selected over here it's dropping right in that folder uh, to insert that frame or insert that uh, extracted frame down here uh, shift R to cut and dragging that down in place uh, is he looking out? No. Moving around. So, and then what I kind of look for is, I don't know, an interesting picture of something to pause on. It's kind of a cute picture. And if, I'm going to go ahead and extract that out. And I'm just hitting enter here. That's dropping it right over here. Shift R. Drag frame down, throw it in place. So Beck ended up buying these tents from uh, Tot Trade for fairly cheap. Ended up getting three of them, and uh, I just wanted to set them up to make sure that they actually work and to try to figure out if the kids will sleep in the backyard in them before we actually go camping this summer. They ended up doing pretty well. Uh, didn't put Caden out there, but uh, he definitely wanted to go out. Just kind of dragging these around. So, Looks like the camera's moving a bunch at this point, so I'm going to go ahead and crop my ugly mug out of there. And uh, shift R to cut. Figure out where I'm going to put the camera next. Figure and let it go ahead and get stabilized. And 
uh, looks like it's fairly steady right there. Cut it again and selected it and then you hit delete key and drag this over. Hit the home key to jump to the beginning of that segment. Looks like I'm still fiddling with the camera a little bit. A whole bunch of dead space where nobody's outside. So I'm going to hold down shift and hit the left key to go back to the last couple frames where there was somebody there. And I'll leave a couple frames of dead space. Hit the shift R to cut. And then I'm just going to scrub through hitting the right arrow. Until I find something interesting. Looks like the cat just went through the frame. Yep. Cat went running through the frame. Kind of went from here all the way around and then down. So leave that in. Hit the shift R to cut. Select. Hit delete key to delete it. Left click. Uh, left click, slide it back up against there, and then hit the home key. Find the last couple frames of the cat. And then shift R to cut again. I'm probably going to cut some of those out, but what I want to do is actually copy this. So I'm selecting that section of the cat. Cat's in there. Select the section of the cat. Control C to copy. Control V right where I want the f where where I want it to go. And I'll just repeat that a couple times just for a you know little Easter egg for the kids to see MIDI. Scrubbing through here. See if there's anything interesting. Which I don't see anything. Nope. Jesse came back out for a minute. So, very tedious work. There goes Jesse right there. And he's gone. So, I'm just hitting the left and right arrows to scrub through the frames until I find him. And then I'm just going to delete that section out. Not too much interest in there. Another option that you can do instead of sliding this manually over is you can right mouse click here and say remove space and it'll just kind of drop over. But I actually kind of prefer just to click and drag. He left. So I will cut that section again until we find something interesting, and then I'll cut again right before it just to remove some dead space. Alright, there goes everybody. Everybody kind of just piled out at the same time, I guess. Delete that section, drag it over. Whenever I drag it, left click and drag over like that, it auto selects it, and then I can just hit the home key. So uh, that drops it back to the beginning of the frame. Looks like a whole bunch of good stuff's happening now. Kids are getting kind of excited to try the tents out. Over in the right hand corner, 
We're eating some food. So sometimes I actually like having the camera take a couple pictures in between to show that we're moving somewhere, but I'm not gonna worry about that here. All I see is my ugly mug the whole time. So I will cut there and delete and slide that frame over. So I see on their new picnic table. Enjoying the outdoors. You can expand the timeline by zooming out here. And the cat playing on the table. I should probably cut some of the stuff out. I don't need this much. I do like the light though. The light is definitely pretty going through there. Hmm. I don't know. I'll leave it in for now. Kind of want to speed it up though. Alright, I'll cut there. Cut there and scrub through. Go ahead and just play it. That's me sticking it to the window to record some record the next scene of video. I'll go ahead and drop that out. Delete that off. Extract frame. Mm, nah. I won't do that. Get enough pictures of me. Sure, I'm not deleting the wrong thing. Alright, this was me trying to capture. Capture some sun set ish from the back window. Doesn't really face the right way. But I kinda got it. I uh, actually need to flip the orientation around. I guess I want to show that uh, it did get dark, so I need to flip the orientation around on this. So, uh, rotate, I think is what I'm looking for. Over here in the effects window, rotate keyframe, and I think I want to do this like that. Uh, for the effects, I just kind of drug that down on this, just the section I cared about. And uh, then under the properties, rolled that over and that rotated this frame. Just this one, didn't rotate the other one. All right, so let's make sure this section looks good. Oh, hold on. Interesting. That's funny, there was like an extra frame in there. I can just delete those off anyways. off right there, throw that over there, hit the home key, see how this looks. And me adjusting the camera again. Alright, so I'm going to cut right there, adjusting the camera. 
right there again. Zoom in so I can actually delete that little small subsection. Alright, playing it back. That's where I kind of wish I could speed it up. I think I've actually tried speeding up just that subsection. Uh, like a, a clip section. And I don't think it's worked in the past. Let's try it again. Speed. Motion. That. And you can see the effects uh, under the property. Uh, you can see how there's a couple effects now. So let's change this to 200 and see what happens. Whoa. Yeah, that messed it up. sucks. Thoroughly screwed that up. So I'll save it, close it, and see what happens. Ooh. Let's see how bad I screwed that up. Background color. Hmm, there's two rotate effects in there. That's one bad thing about Gaten Live. Uh, there's definitely some bugs from time to time that I hit. So it doesn't look like I can speed it up from here. But we've clipped down quite a bit. Shaved off definitely some time off of it. So I'll look through some of this and try to figure out what is meaningful and what's not. So I kind of like how it's getting dark. Must be a planet. It's quite, quite bright in the sky. That's cool. It's the last thing that's actually showing up. And then me going out and taking the camera off. <laughs> I'll let that go dark like that. Trim it off. Done. And save it. And the next morning. So I just left clicked and drug that down there. Dropped it in place. And that's my happy sleepy eyes waking up. Oh crap. It didn't drop into the folder because I wasn't selecting the folder. Drag, drag down that one second clip and uh, we'll change this to four seconds so that we can write some text on there. And go to, so I'll click right here and add title clip, show background. Say uh, next morning. Perfect, so hit OK there. And why? Hmm. So the title went there for some reason. Just 
slam that on top of there. And we'll do a little bit of a transition. Just a little bit of a transition in and a little bit of transition out. See what it looks like. Alright, perfect. Throw that over there. Or at least good enough. This is the only one still in the tent, so just waiting on her to wake up. she woke up and then Mitty heard her stirring and went over to the tent. So we'll grab that frame, throw it in there, shift R to for the razor tool, drag this down in place, drop this over there. And there goes Lissa getting out the tent. Was a uh, pretty successful uh, sleep in the tent for everybody. Everybody did pretty well. So one thing I did was tell them to go out first, and uh, they spent about an hour in the tent before I even got out there. And uh, they were pretty tired by the time I got out there, which was good for me. Definitely like the sun rising over the tents. I'd like for it to go a little faster. So what I may have to do is import the slideshow clip again, but at a faster speed. That may be the best thing to do. Or I can just let the clip go four minutes long and not worry about it. all that. Let's go back to the start. Let's see how much I actually need. Hmm, good enough. Razor tool. Cut it out. So get the cat run through the frame some, which is kind of cool. But just going to drop all that. And I'm going to hold down shift and hit the right arrow. And that's skipping a second at the time in the video speed. That's actually about how fast I would like for it to go. But eh, whatever. That's us as a family going to Sam's Club. If there's enough there to actually eh. we'll cut a little bit of this, leave some in for a little bit. I don't know that I'm going to put any of the sand club stuff in there. That's the problem with shooting a whole bunch of video. You've got to process all the video. Huge pain in the butt. But, I get a cute little video like this of the kids and me. Ah, there go 
have some more uh, tent time lapse, which I would like to keep. So let's. I'm gonna find the beginning of that, and I'm just gonna carve out the other section of Sam's Club all together. Just so the video at least tells a story. Go ahead and carve that out too. Boom. Alright, and slam that over there. And then cute little Caden. Select the folder so the screen, the extractor frame actually goes into it. And we'll slice it right there using Shift R. Drop that in place. I actually like this upward angle, getting a little bit of the tint in place. Really trying to decide on whether or not I'm going to get me a new GoPro or, uh, or a new point and shoot. So I think I'd probably get more use out of the, like a point and shoot, like a G7X Mark II. Um, but I'm considering getting the uh, one of the newer GoPros with the screen on the back. Right now I'm just using a Hero 2, which I just got to eyeball, kind of guesstimate where, like what all's in the frame. Like this, I had no clue what was in the frame whenever I was looking at this. And this is more pictures of the sun. Meh, don't really care about it. I think the ending tent time lapse in there look pretty good, so I'm just going to carve out all of that. So that looked pretty good. Alright, so transitions. So all I did was raw, carve out all the stuff that I didn't want into the timeline. So I didn't worry about transitions or anything. So one thing you need to worry about is as scenes change like this, so this change right here, it really needs to be a transition. And the way that you do transitions in Caden Live is like this. So I zoomed in uh, on the stuff that I cared about here. And the good news is me changing from this scene to the next, I, uh, I put a picture there. So, what I can do is select there, hit the end key, that jumps you to the end of this frame. And then, what I'm looking for is one-tenth of a second before. So I can actually hit the left arrow and go all the way back a tenth of a second there. Alright, so what you'll notice is there's a small overlap. And I can, while I still have the select tool, selected I can go up drag that up like that but then what I need to do is hit the spacer tool now what this is going to do is grab everything after what I selected to the right and drag it this way and then it kind of snapped in place then I need to hit the selector tool again then I need to click in here that's going to make the transition so what you'll see here is you'll see a transition between those frames. So and that just eases the uh, abrupt change to a new scene visually. So and then I'll just go through and process all of this. Trying to figure out, you know, what else needs to stay, what I can take more screenshots of, but that's a uh, my workflow of how I process uh, time lapse pictures in Caden Live. Hopefully, it was helpful.